Hey guys, what's up? So we're just 10 days away from the launch of Witcher 3, one of the most anticipated games of 2015, and rumors are intensifying that the game suffers from a massive graphical downgrade. It kind of brings back memories of Watch Dogs. I'm going to go into that a bit later on. These discussions about Witcher 3 not looking as good in reality as it did in all these trailers and gameplay demos that we've seen already sparked up five months ago, but at that time it was obviously easier for the developer to just kind of say, well, we're working on it and on launch the game will look great. So five months ago, when these rumors first came up, Marcin Momot, who's one of the community managers at CD Projekt Red, said the following. I I believe some explanation is required here. Unfortunately, this time we've encountered some horrible YouTube compression problems. At this very moment, we're working on fixing this and will upload another version of the trailer as soon as we can. It will present a much higher quality. I want to assure you that there will be no downgrade. I see this game every day. It looks stunning. So already five months ago, he kind of spoke boldly about not downgrading anything. But then just yesterday, I saw the Conan O'Brien plays The Witcher 3 review thing that he does, like this Clueless Gamer thing. I'll put the link down in the description in case you haven't seen it. And already then, just looking at that gameplay, I think it was on Xbox One. Uh, I'm, it wasn't one of the consoles, Xbox One or PS4, I'm not sure. But it already looked quite washed out. The textures looked flat and the faces just didn't really look like they did in the trailer. I was expecting a bit more of it, but I didn't think too much of it at that point. But then just today I read all these news and apparently I'm not the only one who saw that. And a lot of people are just really flagging up that they are sharing the same concern. So over the last years, quite a few gameplay demos have been shown and some fans actually went through the effort of comparing those with recent footage and trying to find like same scenes, same areas in the game that you can actually compare. And they uploaded a whole gallery of images where they compare these demo footage shots with actual footage that just now came out of the apparently final version. I'll put the link to the full gallery down in the description as well so you can have a look by yourself. But let's look through some of these screenshots and just really see what it's all about. So here's the first one. And when I first looked at it, I thought, yeah, well, that must be a different area, right? Like a different area in the game. But then you actually compare the buildings and it is pretty much exactly the same position in the game. Like if you look at the buildings just down there in that village, it's exactly the same. The building there on the left, then the big building in the center, small one in front of it. You can clearly see that the whole game has a different color wash. CD Projekt has specifically said that they have changed the colors of the game post some of the trailers and gameplay demos that we've seen because they felt it didn't fit too much into the series of the previous Witcher games, which always were very, very colorful. So you have to give them that. But it's not only the colors, it's the whole detail grade. Like if you just look at the bottom left of both of these images, you can see a lot of detail on the top image and like next to no detail and just really washed out and flat textures on the bottom. The same counts for the background, the, the viewing distance, right? If you look at the top image, look at the detail, the crisp detail of these mountains in the distance, not even talking about the sky map. And, and then underneath, it's, it's literally just a very, very flat line. The bottom image doesn't even look as good as The Witcher 2, I find personally. Let's look at the second image, and that's something that I also noticed in the Conan O'Brien gameplay video. He's shooting these kind of flames out of his hand, and it looked already in the gameplay video quite flat. I mean, look at the top image, how moody everything is. In the distance there, this little path that leads deeper into the forest, right? It just has all that depth, and you, you can really get the impression of the moonlight on the top image, on the bottom, again, it looks just really, really flat and washed out, which is not ideal, I guess. Keep in mind that the Conan O'Brien footage was the apparently, I mean, obviously we're 10 days away from release, the final version that runs on the consoles. So while the bottom image doesn't look really bad, like I don't wanna make it look like it's terrible or anything, but it just doesn't really live up to what the top image and all the gameplay demos that we've seen before promised really. The next image is a little less bad. I feel he's walking through some kind of swamps here. And this is just really something where you can see the details if you zoom in. I mean, obviously on the screen, I put these two images next to each other so you can compare them directly. But let's just zoom in a little bit more and look at the top 
image on the bottom left corner. You can see the beautiful reflection there on the water, all the detail on the on the trees, right? It just looks absolutely gorgeous and the amount of detail is, is stunning and that's what everyone I think expected from The Witcher 3. And now looking at the same part of the image of the recent screenshot, you can see all the detail of the reflection on the water, even the detail on the trees, like it looks like they reworked the whole scene and took out objects because if you look at the whole image again it is the exact same scene on the bottom image she seems to be a bit closer to the house there uh, but the island that you see on the left i mean you can see probably some kind of tombstone there on the left like all that detail is just gone it, the trees seem to have loads of little twigs and like depth of detail on the top image while on the bottom there's just not that much left of it Looking at the next image, and I think this is just a very extreme one, obviously on the top image, the full detail and the full draw distance is switched on while on the bottom, all the detail just breaks away. I don't want to talk too much about this one. Going to the next one, and that is a quite significant one, because again, on the top, just focusing on all that grass and all the details, it's all there, while on the bottom, it just looks like a repetition of the same bush. Right, I mean, look at the diversity of the greenery on the top image, right? Like every bush is slightly different and it's just very lifelike and, and very real, it seems. While on the bottom, there's just not much detail there, to be honest. So I can understand why, based on these images, people are getting a little bit concerned. When fans confronted CD Projekt Red with these issues on their Facebook page, the developer basically avoided a concrete answer, and all they said was like, oh yeah, on release, the game will look fantastic. But then I can really just point back at the Conan O'Brien demo, which was the final version running on Xbox One or PlayStation 4, like I said, not sure, but it was the final version and it really didn't look that great. Now, one thing that we have to keep in mind in this whole story is that all these images that are used in the comparison, we don't know how they were made. It might be a low detail version on the PC where all the details and the drawing distance have been turned down. Other elements play into it as well, like video compression on YouTube. It's just a gameplay video, that's all we've seen. Weather conditions, there are some changing weather conditions in the game, so that might be the reason why the grass looks greener in some images while it looks a bit browner in other images. And I can really see how that kind of explains some of the stuff we just looked at, especially the one with the mountains in the distance, right? If, if you remember that one, basically there were just a few flat lines. That is something that can be done, you know, just by reducing the draw distance and then you get an effect like that. But to me personally, looking also at the gameplay footage on Xbox One, it doesn't explain all the points, right? And there seems to be some difference there between what they promised in these original gameplay demos and what they actually now delivered on Xbox One. But I think one of the big concerns that a lot of fans have now is that something similar happened as happened with Watch Dogs, where basically companies like Sony and Microsoft put pressure on the developer that the PC version is not allowed to look much better than the console version. If you remember, months after Watch Dogs came out, we had this guy discovering that deep inside the code of Watch Dogs are still hidden. These additional settings that have been taken out to make the PC version look closer to the console version. And as soon as you activate them, the game looked basically like it did in the original E3 demo. So I think there is reason to be concerned for both the console players as well as the PC players. But I think one of the main issues with this whole story goes beyond The Witcher 3 just having like not as good graphics as promised. It's generally that developers and publishers are now creating these demos and these gameplay scenes that are running on high-end PCs and it seems like they're just creating dedicated versions of the games that really sell it in and really blow people away and with that they're just promising a very pretty game and then that's what people expect right you can't show people footage like this and then expect them to be satisfied with something that only looks half as good a year later it doesn't work like this publishers and developers have to realize that if your game has to run on the current gen consoles it just will not look as good and if you show a demo that runs on a pc then you have to put a disclaimer in the beginning that says this is running on a high-end pc that has like eight cores and 32 gigs of ram and whatever eight gigabytes of graphics storage and that's why it looks so awesome right and if you're running it on your console this is not what you're gonna get but here you go enjoy it 
Anyway, guys, I think overall we just have to wait and see. We can't really judge the game at this point because, yes, we've seen some gameplay and, yes, we've seen some of the current gen console footage, but it's all been put through YouTube filters. We don't know in what weather conditions in-game it was recorded. So don't really judge the game before we've seen it and just wait for the reviews. As always, I strongly recommend not to buy the game on day one unless you're all about the story because obviously Witcher 3 is a very story-driven game and if that's all you care about and you don't care that much about graphics, then obviously you can buy it on day one. But if you want CD Projekt to deliver a game that looks as good as we've seen it in these demos, then just wait a little bit and see what people say. And I personally really hope that we're not getting a big shitstorm like we did with Watch Dogs. Anyway, guys, these are just my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can leave me a like. You can subscribe to my channel for more. Stay tuned and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Bye.